what's going on everybody welcome back to all things amy how y'all doing today happy saturday today we are doing the part two not four part two <laughs> part two of the last video if you haven't seen it yet i will leave it linked below so you could go watch it so you can understand where this video going now so we gonna be doing part two of the self-love situation we get back into this i just you know you know we can just be right back and i can get into all the details with y'all <laughs> So, like I said, we getting into finishing it, basically wrapping up this last part of this video. Because, you know, I got a lot of feedback about that last video and it helped a lot. A lot of people texted me, some even commented on the last video. Thank you guys so much for your comments. Thank you for supporting me. And well, you know, I'm going to keep trying to bring y'all like um, content. You know so um today like i say we back on self-love so many people struggle with this yo it's amazing how many people struggle with loving themselves struggle with trying to find the confidence to like get through so many other things that they had to go through which is not hard especially when you do it alone if you're like me i'm a person that I don't like to talk about my feelings. I rather keep them in because yes, people care. Don't get me wrong. I do care about people. Uh, some people, if you're close to me. But I mean, I just feel like people don't care. So I just rather keep stuff to myself. And if you like that, I totally understand. And you're not alone when it comes down to certain things like that. I just feel like hmm, can't say it, can't talk about it. I cannot do it. So just today today had to bring all this paper now because i feel like i was uh, like all over the place last time you know a little bit i don't know i feel so but then again at the same time i was speaking facts so you know anyway i'm coming back here today to finish this off with giving you all five ways five simple ways of how to achieve self-love five just five simple ways that has helped me and you know it's not hard it's not the easiest and it's not the hardest thing to do either but once you actually put your mind to it you can you know so first one is speak kind words to yourself there's so many ways that we can speak like kind to ourselves yeah, um, socially we can find people or surround ourselves with people who you know actually care about us people who will actually take the time out to like make us feel good and not like oh you know they're gonna be praising you all the time but have friends around you that oh const not constantly but now when again remind you hey you know you're beautiful or hype you up fine surround yourself with those people socially you know make sure your circle got you and make sure you have them to do not just be a one-sided thing you have to have their back just like how they have yours mentally cut yourself some slack you know we tend to like how ourselves burdened down with so much thing and it's like oh you're not pretty and we keep telling ourselves this one it's really not true it's just that something we have engraved in the back of our head don't listen to that I know that your conscious telling you that, but do listen to that. Sometimes that's not right. And I say it all the time. Sometimes it's not right. So don't mentally let yourself go. Let yourself feel certain things. But then remind yourself that, you know what? I'm beautiful. Like, regardless of what this, whatever is behind my head, whatever is going through my mind, I am beautiful. And spiritually, drawing yourself closer to God. Praying, listen, is like um 
personally for me this has been a task um but praying definitely helps and i know what i'm telling you it definitely helps to boost yourself up because you know some days it will be really you will be really dumb and well that getting to talk to god is definitely a bonus to the whole situation so that was number one speaking kind words to yourself number two be grateful having a little attitude of gratitude is a fabulous way to practice self-love we all we find ourselves all the time complaining about how we look i don't look with me me i'm not gonna even come on here and like it like i say we find ourselves find ourselves complaining about how we look find ourselves complaining about this and about that and that's not cute i know it ain't cute i didn't do it so i'll tell you it's not cute um when you complain you disregard all of the good things that going around or like going on around you like when you start like oh any little thing that like, any little thing you complain about you just like telling all the good things that happening to you know what what are you doing here you, you it's like basically you just you basically saying that the bad things covering the good which nothing in that care not care um so that's number two be grateful three choose positivity so many people have told me to be positive and every time they say that to me bro my item they go behind my head and my blood like just boil up because yes people i know i'm supposed to be positive but it's not the easiest thing to do and not hard neither like i say but it's really hard to like maintain a positive mind like i say when that little voice behind your head just mm, in there grilling you and telling you you know nothing and you know bro it's hard to remain positive don't get me wrong it's not always sunshine and it's not always rainbows but let's try and put up a fake one fake it till you make it you know but being positive is just trying to understand that everything eventually gonna you know, work out smoothly like just try to keep that positive vibe going don't let it flop don't let it flop you know um it's okay to feel sad and frustrated sometimes but and it's okay to feel overwhelmed and annoyed don't disregard those things when they come up like don't and just don't let those emotions stop you from becoming your best self like don't let the hurt don't let the frustration being overwhelmed don't let it stop you from becoming who you really are who you are set out to be don't let it stop you get up every day and remind yourself that what uh me they can't talk to me how they want they can't uh, remind yourself that yo i'm the catch uh so yeah that's number three choosing positivity number four be intentional i love this because it gives you all the power over your thoughts i was telling y'all in the last video when you wake up in the morning try and be on yourself yo you pretty you are meant to be here you have a purpose put that in your mind let that be the first thing remind yourself who you are remember who or how you were created you were created by yo you know i know you know you know like remember that you were beautifully wonderfully made yo you were to perfection yes i mean you we always say we're not perfect but god made us perfect regardless like you were created he took his time and made you I appreciate that boo I hate that word, but I still find myself using it. But appreciate it. Appreciate the fact of who you are. Be intentional with what you do. Everything you do, try and do it to the, you know, the best you can. And even challenge yourself sometimes to go overboard if possible. Okay, you know, I'm preaching on here today. I kind of had to preach channel today. So that was number four, now. Be intentional. Be intentional. 
And last but not least, be you. I'm going to say that again. You probably miss it. Number five, be you. It's exhausting to be somebody else. Practice self-love and realize that you are you for a reason. Don't let, yo, be you. Listen to me. I find it so hard to try and change who I am to fit in. But people keep, I don't need in my life. I found myself some time ago actually trying to live up to people's standards just because I wanted them to like me. I would say, it's like, you know what, I'm draining myself because this is not who I am. I'm going out of my way to try and be like this other person just because I want hair on them all the time. No. I ain't trying to be a hair living on lifestyle like I can't have my team. You know that kind of it. So be you, bro. I find, like, don't be out here trying to do the most. Please don't be out here doing that. Because at the end of the day, you're dreaming yourself. And that's not that's that not cute. Stop that. Don't do that. Yeah. They erase that from the back of your head. Be not doing that. This is 2020. Be who you are. Be who you are set out to be. Yo, I just want y'all to remember in this whole process, I feel like the best thing is to have people that actually love you, care for you, and let you know what's up. That's the best thing. That's the honest thing I could tell y'all. I know it has helped me having people around me that boost me in some kind of way. It has definitely been a blessing for me to have those people around. Um, I know there's so many things that some of us are so, um, you know, like we don't have we don't have the confidence to do certain things. Even someone brought up the comment about not having confidence because of how their hair looked or i remember going through that stage when i started out like my whole natural process i didn't like it so i used to wear braids the most of the time because my hair was so short and then this and i was like mm, nobody need to be seeing that so i used to cut i used to wear braids the majority of my like the first half of my natural hair during it i started with braids because i just i had looked at one day wet chicken i must say but some of y'all, like, I love your hair. Hey, y'all, I feel, I don't know, you know, we always find ourselves, like, looking at other people and it's like, oh, I love her, the way she look, or this scent. I wish I had that, what she had work. And it's like, you don't know that probably that person doesn't like what they have or what is all going on. And, you you know, we find ourselves, like, just trying to, like, I don't know. It happens to me. Like, oh, I would look at some girls and be like, she got a big monkey. I wish I had bumped to that. In a non homo way. But then again, some people, I'm not saying all, but then some people find that like to be a bother to them. You know, that kind of way. Some people look at me like, oh, I wish I had her boobs. And they don't know this is the heaviest thing on earth to back. <laughs> I mean, but it's like we always look at, you know, what we think people will like on them or just because they have them. Um, I'm not saying I don't love me how I am. But then again, there's always something that, you know, I wish. I just wish. But like I say, y'all, you were created beautifully, wonderful. And don't forget to be who you are. Don't do that. Like, don't be out here trying to be somebody else. Because like I say, it is very draining and it gets really annoying after a while. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video um hopefully i will be coming to you all with more videos like this hope to get like a nice feedback on this video from you all you know um i will be coming back soon with some more hair care videos i just oh my gosh but i already have from the line that i already do like my shampoo done for that so i'm gonna do, be doing um another review on uh another shampoo and conditioner whole situation so yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to know when your girl gonna load something else you know so happy saturday and it's officially one week until my birthday one week 
want to be i supposed to have a photo shoot today so let's see how that goes don't worry i will be vlogging that more or less for y'all um trying to put together like a whole birthday vlog let's see how that turns out so yeah i hope you guys have a great day